just so you know, they're getting ready here, and they're going to do something truly amazing. They're going to reset this stage. So they said, uh, Governor, can you, uh, can you ad lib for a little bit here with Mr. Taylor? What they, they didn't need to ask. They should have said, you're a politician. Can you bullshit for about five minutes? Yeah, that should be easy for you. <laughs> I, uh, I did a very Midwestern euphemism the other day when I was talking about uh, Elon being Donald Trump's running mate and jumping around like a dipshit on stage. Set a pot to the kettle. So, so last night, where she showed up, which was supposed to be a, a debate, which was supposed to be a, a debate, he goes into a supermarket, which you know the last time was like 1985. He, he gives a hundred bucks to a woman who's paying for her groceries and things like that. Paying for her groceries and things like that. And the people who know Trump best, who sat beside him in the Oval Office, who are in the Situation Room. Who are in the Situation Room. That's not a word. Freedom to send our little ones, dress them up in their best clothes, send them to school to be kids, to learn and to have fun and to play. And the freedom to not be shut. And the freedom to not be shut. I asked yesterday, I cast my vote and I took my recently turned 18 year old son Gus and he cast his first vote. And he cast his first vote. When they asked J.D. Vance about child care, he just said, ask grandma to do it. When when Trump got the question, he just word salad broken brain and didn't say shit about it. I can't believe you just said that. <laughs>